since I was 16 years old. I was born and raised in Auburn. And we used to drive up every weekend and go to the Pike Place Market. And so it was always one of the things I wanted to be into, a store or somewhere here on the, uh, the corridor. And here I am. It's, it's an amazing lucky break. I mean, I'm pretty, you know, pretty stoked about it. My work comes in various sizes. What you're seeing here are 5 by 7s which are actual photographs on a foam back board, so you can drop these into a 5x7 frame. And it graduates up to an 8x10, which is an 11x14 matted frame. Now, every one of these is done with a special process. It's done with an 11 ink uh, Epson printer that uses a fine textured uh, color uh, photo paper, which adds the depth and tones that you see here, which are a lot different than, say, your uh, Costco type prints which are only six inchettes and a whole different less grade of paper. So it graduates all up to panorama and at the large scale that you see in the frame. Yes, it's just brand new. keep it under 20 inches. Okay. Awesome. Go across the street and see. When I heard there was a possibility to have my product here in Pike Place Market, I got very excited because I know the potential of anything that makes it in this, this market has a greater potential for making it outside this market. This is like a huge blessing as far as I'm concerned. And uh, the next step, of course, was to try and work with uh, ventures to make sure I'm matching their market uh, because I've already learned from other stores that it's one thing to get in but the more important thing is to move the product. I produce an organic tea. Uh, some of the recipes I have, I know that they can't be found anywhere else in the world. The bags that I use here are biodegradable rice paper bags. And we use them here because this store caters to uh, customers who like to pack things and travel. And so they're very lightweight. People come in here looking for things that are made in Seattle. And that name is kind of a gifty name for them. So. We created a new branch, and it's probably our 14th branch that I've created in this company. Uh, but this one is called Seattle's Finest Teas. So it makes it easy for the customer or the consumer to come in looking for that thing that they can take back to their home or to their country that's got Seattle's name on it. She does do these same ways that are fancy, they're $11. But they're, you know, these are all vintage components. Um, so do you wait for a certain month to see if you lower it to place? Or? We do, we work with, with you on that. So, yeah, if you want to write things in that box. These are some of the art stuff that I do. Uh, by having my products here, I found that Mount Rainier stuff sells really well. I've also figured out that small products sell well with this economy right now, and so that's why I decided to do the bookmarkers. I'm glad that it's nice. One thing nice about ventures is it's nice to know I can have a stable, in, a monthly income. I came up with this line of surprise coffee ideas and um, I take um, ideas little sayings that I come up with like um, thanks a latte and you mocha me purr and that kind of shows you that I have this kind of silly sense of humor specifically Seattle little paintings like it's pouring in Seattle and the dude, I think we took a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> and I hope that they bring a smile to people's faces. I swear sometimes I come in here and I want to buy more than I sell because they have such neat stuff. So um, I'm just so happy that I connected with these people.